Airplanes come in variety of paint jobs, beautiful schemes that catch the eye. Airliners, for example, often spend a lot of money to get the most attractive colors for their planes for marketing purposes. But that is not the only reason why aircraft are painted. Painted parts offer much lesser air resistance than unpainted or weathered paint coats and will add to fuel saving on that account. On the other hand, military planes paint for camouflage to hide themselves and to blend with ground or the sky, whereas some paints absorb radar waves to escape detection. Aircraft are routinely painted every four to seven years and accumulate several touch-up coats between painting cycles. And since coat upon existing coat means more weight added to the plane and result in increase in hourly operating costs, the existing paint must first be stripped before major paint overhaul. Let us see how. The most widely accepted paint removal process, chemical stripping that is, relies on toxic chemicals and human labor. The physical labor is hazardous to personnel, aircraft skin, and the environment due to the presence of paint dust or residual chemicals. For example, chemicals like methylene chloride used in this fashion have caused death and is not recommended for use by untrained hands. Furthermore, chemical stripping was developed when aircraft were constructed of metal or aluminum. Modern planes are built increasingly from composite material, hence this type of stripping agent is becoming more and more obsolete in the aviation industry. Preparation for this process consists of detailed stripping and careful application of the remover. Sensitive parts like composites, rubber boots, sealant, flexible hoses, electrical wiring, etc. must first be covered by aluminum tape foil. Let us look at a couple of more ways in which paint can be stripped. Plastic media blasting or the PMB is a process of coating removal and uses soft reusable plastic particles pneumatically propelled against the surface at low pressure. Again, this requires proper training and considerably high skill. PMB can be used for stripping honeycomb, plastic, composites as well as unreachable components such as structure paint removal or systems components such as the landing gear having in mind that this process requires manufacturer recommended procedures. And then we have the high pressure water blasting that uses softer chemicals to soften up surfaces that are then blasted away with high pressure water jets using alkaline cleaner, dustless and environment friendly, taking just few hours for the paint to fall off the exterior of the aircraft from signal application. There's a lot of cost saving from this method on account of both chemicals and human effort. Soda blasting is another way of getting rid of old paint. Soda is a non-destructive material that starts out as a grain of salt and explodes on the intended surface upon impact. The energy that is released upon explosion is what strips paint, grease, oil, or whatever it may be. Soda is cold, presenting no danger of metal warping due to heat. Works on near same lines as the plastic media. In a string of latest developments, pulse CO2 laser stripping has been the centerpiece using high-intensity pulsed light energy bursts to peel off the paint film. Rapid laser pulsing and quick surface rastering yields a strip rate similar to that of the flash lamp CO2 pellet blasting process, which is another of the ways in which paint can be taken down. Because no cooling media is used in the laser process, substrate temperature is controlled by limiting the thickness of paint film removal with numerous passes made to strip paint. Future changes that may affect painting industry would be driven by many factors such as increasing trend in waste cost or waste increment, but the area that overshadows these days are the environmental concerns from both application and waste management standpoint. For now, the IATC applicants are cautioned on using chemical agents for stripping paint and advised to attain maximum scale level on paint stripping. Remain safe and blue skies.